All right, guys, welcome back to Dude Ranch DIY. My name is Jake, and today we're gonna be getting into a few things here. Um, I just got home from work, and as you can see in the back of my truck here, I got a nice full IBC tote of mixed hardwoods. Um, I keep an empty IBC tote, believe it or not, at work at the end of my parking spot because when we're on the job, we always have a splitting mall, you know, in one of the trucks. And during lunch, or if we take a break or something, um, I like to split wood. And if I see a really nice piece come down, or if I'm taking down a tree, and there's a nice piece that's straight, no crotches or anything, nice, nice hardwood, I throw it off to the side because I'm a tree guy and I like firewood. And I end up splitting it up at either at the end of the day, or like I said, during break or lunch. And I end up stacking it up in these IBC totes here, or the empty IBC tote that I keep. And then when it's full, I bring it home. Um, so it's kind of like a little, uh, I don't know, reward system, I guess I could call it, uh, in my free time when I'm there. I'm getting uh, firewood out of it. So I'd say probably once about every three weeks, I'll bring home a tote. So I split all of this wood by hand and it's just something fun for me to do. guys as you can see already putting the new millings to use we got the sure track dump trailer parked on the new extended parking lot we got the international fully on the gravel driveway and we probably got about 12 13 foot to spare plenty of room for the IBC toad here now I would normally bring it to its final resting spot but I have about, oh, I don't know, 150 yards of uh, asphalt milling still in the way here. So it's a little bit too much for me to spread with the tractor. So we got to wait for Shane and the excavator to uh, get that stuff spread and this road open back up. But uh, one other thing that I did on my way home, I actually made a stop. And I don't think I've mentioned this little project that Sarah and I have been doing um around the house here well it's actually not around the house it's actually in the house so i'm going to show you a couple things that i picked up on my way home so as i mentioned sarah and i've been doing a little project inside the house here now we're in the kitchen um looks like louie got a hold of the frisbee um and recently we took down this section of wall here um, this was a room that we've been calling the den that we previously haven't really used. Um, when we first bought the house, we bought a bunch of furniture and got this really nice sectional couch. We barely sat on it because this room just was totally closed off to the kitchen. Um, it only had this one window, this one little door. Now, keep in mind the house was built in 1927. So it's pretty compartmentalized and we were told that this used to be the original kitchen. Um, now there was a wood stove here um, at some point. We were told that because the uh, people that we bought the house from were renting out the house, they actually had the stove removed 
just due to insurance um, liability and stuff like that. But the hearth is still here, and you can see clearly where they plugged up the hole for the for the stove pipe. Now the chimney on the outside, I'm hoping, is still lined with all of the adequate tubing. Um, I do have a wood stove downstairs that I will show you in a second, but um, we basically opened up this wall here to allow for more light, more airflow, uh, heat circulation, um, come time to fire up the wood stove once we get it installed. But what I picked up was this nice black walnut slab from a custom sawmill. Now we're going to um, sand it down a little bit further. It's pretty close um, to being finished sanded, but we gotta sand it down a little bit more but it's live edge and it's going to act as kind of like a little mini, you know, bar table kind of thing to just give it a little bit of uh, some, some wood feel. We have these beautiful hardwood floors here in the kitchen. And then we also um, are going to trim out the top here, the bottom part and the backside of this opening with some red oak uh, boards that I also had milled up for me um, to kind of make it look like a little faux beam and give it a little bit more wood and rustic farmhousey look. So those boards are downstairs. I will show you that in the wood stove right now. So here on my workbench are the three boards. They are one by sixes of red oak that we had milled for us um, to trim out the wall opening, give it a little bit more of a rustic look. Um, we are going to stain them a little bit. Um, the black walnut slab there, I think we're just going to leave with like a satin polyurethane on it. But these red oak boards, Sarah wants a little bit darker. So we're gonna stain them a little bit darker and then probably put another uh, coat of satin poly on it. But they're looking pretty good. Um, and then if we come over here, don't mind all the cardboard and stuff. This is my pile of cardboard that I bring to the recycling center. But here is the wood stove that we have. Um, it is a Quadra Fire, I guess. Um, I don't know much about it. My buddy had it in his house and then he had two young kids. So he wanted to get rid of it. He was afraid that they might burn themselves on it. So he actually gave it to me um, along with some piping here. And then I actually have some more piping over there. Um, but like I said, I'm hoping that the chimney in that room is already lined with pipe. So this will be a project coming up in the near future, um, getting this wood stove probably sanded down, repainted, it's a little bit rusty, and uh, installed. timer just went off. I've been setting 25 minute timers to move the sprinkler around the yard. So here we go. Got to get this grass seed nice and wet. Hopefully we'll have some nice grass coming in. All right, guys. So now that we got the sprinkler moved, I got the lumber unloaded from my truck. I got the IBC toad unloaded from my truck. I have about an hour until I have to go uh, to a little meeting. I gotta go look at a job um, for a client here in town. They have some tree work that they want done and they'd like me to give them an estimate. So that's always a good thing, um, especially heading into the winter months, keep myself a little bit busy. But since I do have an hour, I'm going to swap the forks off the bucket and there's a little bit more of uh, a section in between the shelter logics up behind the house and the trail leading up the hill to them that I need to fill in with millings. Um, so before it starts raining tonight, which it is supposed to start raining tonight, and it's supposed to rain, uh, we're filming this on Tuesday, so it's supposed to rain Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and like half of Sunday. So I'd like to get that little section uh, filled in and hopefully leveled out. That way um, it's done and I won't have to be worried about doing it in the rain. So here we go.
Okay guys, so that took me about 18 minutes the video ran for. Um, I'm guessing that when I edit it, I will probably speed it up for you a little bit, but just so that you can get an idea of how long it took. Um, it went pretty well. Uh, it would be a lot smoother if there weren't all these big chunks in here, because as I'm spreading it out, the chunks kind of get caught on the bucket or on the, on the lip of the bucket, and then they ended up, or they end up getting dragged down and kind of create like these little ruts or channels, so to speak. But um, I'm sure as I drive over it more, they will get packed down and potentially even break up a little bit. Um, but all in all, looks pretty good. Um, we have plenty more to spread, but we will save that for another day when Shane is here with the excavator. So making progress little by little. Um, and now at least I have a nice flat access road up to the shelter logics where I keep the Cormiti and the Kubota. So guys, that's gonna be it for this one. Um, as I said, I gotta go run and do a quick estimate, and look at some tree work, a little bit down the road for a client. Um, but there were a couple things I wanted to mention. Um, Paul Bunyan Show. I am going to be making the eight hour drive out to the Cambridge, Ohio area with my father. Um, it just so happens that the Paul Bunyan show falls on my birthday, which is October 1st. Um, so my dad and I are gonna be driving out there. He's really excited, I'm really excited. Um, hopefully we'll get to meet some of you guys. That is in two weeks. 
Um, but looking even closer ahead to this weekend is Farm Aid. I know um, I do have some viewers in Connecticut here. I'm not sure if I have any farmers out there that are watching. Um, but Farm Aid is a music festival that was originally started by Willie Nelson and a couple other uh, pretty famous music artists. And it is targeted towards families and all of the proceeds, or not all of them, but some of the proceeds go towards uh, sponsoring and helping local agriculture. Um, so it's a great cause. There's a killer lineup. We got Willie Nelson, John Mellencamp, Dave Matthews, um, Jamie Johnson, I think, Sturgill Simpson. So it should be a really good time this weekend. Um, Sarah and me and some friends will be there. So if anybody that is in the area is going to Farm Aid, leave a comment down in the comment section below. And then the third thing on the laundry list is that we will soon be making um, t-shirts, Dude Ranch t-shirts. I actually just got in the mail yesterday my first batch of 200 Dude Ranch DIY stickers. Um, the t-shirts are coming up soon. I'm working with a designer locally here um, to come up with a couple different designs for t-shirts. So if anybody would be interested potentially in a t-shirt, I'm trying to get a ballpark idea of a, you know, a number for a first run um, before I start building up a big inventory. So if anybody would be interested in a t-shirt, let me know in the comment section below. Other than that, I'm rambling on. You guys know the drill. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, give us a big thumbs up. Questions, comments, put it in the comment section below. But that's it for now. I'm Jake. This is Dude Ranch DIY. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you here next time.